So in this video, we're going to talk about the Apex funded account program and more specifically how to connect it and set it up with Ninja Trader 8. This is the Apex website, Apex Trader Funding. And uh, you'll see that they have uh, quite a few options down here. If you scroll down to their evaluation accounts. And in this case, we're going to talk specifically about how to connect these rhythmic accounts, the rhythmic plan. They do have a trade of eight uh, option as well. But in this case, we're going to only be talking about rhythmic. So imagine that uh, let's just pretend that I pick one of these and uh, there are coupon codes. It's actually not 147 a month. We got some uh, 70, 80, 90 percent off coupons and uh, they have those floating around right now. They're currently doing a deal 80% off, uh, I guess, for the rest of this month, for the rest of May. So uh, they have some pretty cool options for you to pick from and set up kind of a base level account uh, starting as low as $27 for a 10K funded account. I think I'm paying $32 for a 50K, $32 a month for a 50K account. So the first thing is going to do is you're obviously going to sign up for, go through the checkout process. I don't need to show you guys how that's done. It's pretty simple. Uh, but the next thing you'll do is you'll get an email that looks something like this and it'll say, hey, your account's been activated. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on this link, set up Rhythmic and Ninja Trader 8. And it's going to pop here over to this help center. And this document tells you everything you need to know. The problem with this document is it's got a lot of information and uh, it mixes Trade of 8 and uh, it's got some other things here you don't necessarily need to know right away. Uh, but the first thing you you will need to do is, of course, download Rhythmic Trader. And it is just a little tool here. You're going to click on Download and Install Rhythmic Trader Pro. And it's basically a little tool that looks something like this. I have already downloaded it. I guess you're going to download it, go through the Install Wizard, and then you'll appear on something like this. Now, the username and password, the user ID and password for this uh, is set up. Uh, inside, and I'm going to turn this off, but the uh, username and password is set up here. Uh, once you log into your account uh, using your email and password, once you log into that, you'll get this rhythmic account here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to show you my password, but this is my real Apex account number. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this user ID, 178555, and I'm going to go in here and plug it in here. So Apex 17855. Now I am also going to take my password and I'm gonna go ahead and copy that real quick. And I got it copied and I'm gonna go back into here, into password, click password, and I'm gonna click login. Now the very first time you log into this, uh, there are some disclosures you will have to sign before your account is actually activated. You can take your username and password, plug in a NinjaTrader, and it's not gonna work just yet because you have to sign those disclosures. Now, in this case, I've already signed disclosures. I have multiple Apex accounts, uh, and you'll see here that I actually have a $25, sorry, 25K account, paying $29 uh, a month for, and then I have a uh, 50K account, I'm paying $33.40 uh, for as well. And so let's take a look So one other thing you'll see here, it says make sure market data is off. So we're gonna turn, make sure that is turned off. We're gonna put the username and password in here. We're gonna make sure it says Apex and Chicago area. Uh, and then when we log in, we'll see something like this uh, that you'll sign. Now I've already signed mine previously. Uh, and so I, you will, I, I can't really show you that, but it'll, pop up and you'll just basically sign them and uh, that will automatically load. And it basically just says you're not a professional trader, uh, which if you are a professional trader, they're going to charge you more. So trust me, you're not a professional trader. And uh, so everything else is pretty much set up by default. Turn this off, turn the selective load off and uh, you, can, you can choose remember me and then go ahead and log in. And that will basically create the connection and do that. So we're going to skip that part here as we move through the next few steps. Now, once you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and open a, a browser and you're gonna to go to account.ninjatrader.com. And if you have not yet logged to create an account, you're gonna to go to register, create an account. I've already read, created an account. So then what I'm gonna do is go up here to my top right, go to settings, 
and I'm gonna click on this plans sub tab. And what you'll see here is this will load here in a second and it'll say import a license key. Now the license key was something that was given to you previously uh, in your welcome email. So I'm gonna take this license key, plug it in over here and then click import. Now I've already done this, so I don't wanna do this again, mess anything up, but you're gonna go ahead and click import. Now, once you do that, now you're gonna click download. So it's basically in your account. Now you're gonna click download over here on the left and go ahead and download and install Ninja Trader 8. If you've already downloaded it, you can skip that step. Now, the next piece would be to go ahead and log in to your Ninja Trader account itself. And once you've go, went ahead and signed disclosures, you went ahead and set up the Ninja Trader account. Now I'm gonna log into it, which I've already done here. And what I'm gonna do is go over here to tools, go to tools down here to options and make sure you check this multi-provider option. Oops, uh, make sure it's checked, click apply and you'll be good to go. The next thing you're gonna do is go up here to connections down here in the bottom right is configure. And then on this top left, I'm gonna say rhythmic for Ninja Trader brokerage. And I'm just gonna type in here, we're gonna call this uh, Apex here. I'm gonna connect on startup and then go ahead and paste in my Apex-178555. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my password in here, that super secret password here. I'm gonna go ahead and connect on startup, paste my password, of course, and then I'm gonna choose Apex here, so Apex here. And then I'm gonna click apply. It's gonna say, okay, okay, and there. And then now I have Apex in my connections. Now, the thing about NinjaTrader is your connections determine, it's kind of like a broker, determines what you can and can't trade. So for example, uh, inside Coinbase, I'm not gonna be able to trade futures, but I will be able to trade and connect to Bitcoin, right? Um, Ethereum, I can trade certain crypto, assets. Now, when, when I click on Apex, uh, the very first time it'll turn yellow and you'll see it'll take maybe 10 seconds and then it'll finally turn green, which then means I'll be connected in here in a sec. I'll show you that. And then now I can go ahead and launch charts and place trades. But I want to make sure you guys understand there's a series of steps you have to do in a specific order. It is a little bit confusing. You have to download a third party tool to sign the disclosures to continue. Uh, but that is the process. And just in just a sec, it will connect and you'll be able to see your accounts listed down here. And that's it. Now we're connected. Now we can go ahead and launch new charts, go to new chart and we can uh, enter in whatever asset we want to trade. And that's it.